Um, so today I'm going to do a review of the Grumbacher, I can't pronounce it, the final fixative, um, Max. So, um, it says it's for pastel, charcoal, and pencil, and it's not yellowing, and I actually bought this, like, two days ago, maybe a day ago, uh, because I'm entering pieces in an art show, and in a student art show, and so my pieces are charcoal and oil pastel pieces. And if anyone who does with charcoal knows how bad it is, like how notorious it is for getting everywhere, uh, which is what my stuff does. And so in the process, I had also just turned it in for a portfolio review less than a week ago. And it was completely fine when I put it in the portfolio. In the time it take, it took for that to get from back the school back to my house, like a week, it got completely smudged up like the background. So I had to refix it because I'm not allowed. You're not allowed to enter a smudge piece in the show. So I was told by a student in my class actually that a spray fix this would really help. Like it would seal in the work and it would keep it from smudging. Um, and so she recommended Grumbacher to me. And so I went online and I got it. And I got the mat because I didn't want to use gloss. So I was a little paranoid of how glossy it would be because uh, they recommend that you not have a piece that creates a lot of glare in these shows. So this product was amazing. Like I was really worried that it said it on yellowing, but I was still worried. You know, if I didn't, if I sprayed it a little too close, it would show up. It would have some residue. Um, but it was really takes five minutes to dry for each coat. Actually, that's what they recommend the time is. They recommend to let five minutes for each coat pass. Um, I think I'm impatient, and so I let like maybe two or three minutes go by. But it dries really, really quickly. And I actually noticed it was working on the first one because I was doing it outside because of the fumes and everything, the very, very strong fumes. I was doing it outside, and it, it was a little windy, and it blew away into a bush. And the piece did not get ruined at all. Like, it did not smudge after the first coat. So, I think it would be good with, like, one or two coats. But I like, I put five coats on mine because I'm paranoid. Um, but it's really good. There's no residue. Like, there was no visible residue on the paper after I had finished with the coat. And I, there wasn't really a smell on the paper either. Like, it was a normal smell of charcoal and everything. And maybe a light smell of the spray. But it wasn't an overwhelming smell. Um, so, and I got the 11.75 ounce. Um, this will go, a little goes a long way though. Like, there's still a lot of this left. I used it for two pieces and I put five coats each. So, um, I really, really recommend this product though. It's not too cheap. It was actually, it was like less than $10 for me. Um, and it lasts you a while. I recommend the matte just because it's, that's the one that I used and it didn't actually, it didn't create any gloss. So, um, the final fix today, I'm just going to hold it up so you can see it. And so, this actually really surpassed my expectations. I was really happy with the way that it went. So, you know, now my, the pieces are not smudged at all. They're completely fixed. They look, you know, they look totally perfect to me. Like, they're not smudged. So, if you need to get this, and you're doing a pre, and like I recommend this for any kind of, any kind of drawing. No matter if you're, if you're going to display your art, I definitely recommend this. If you're not going to display your art, you can. It's still really good. Like it, he, it does a good job of keeping the work like it was the first day you did it, or the first day you completed it. Um, but. So, five stars to the Grimbacher final fix it is So, and...